everyone welcome and welcome back to my channel it's been a while i'm finally back after almost a month of inactivity here i apologize school has been giving me essays left and right and i just didn't want to get distracted so i took a short break from here i'm on a reading break right now so i thought i should maximize my time and film stuff while drowning in more essays so today's video is a collab spread and video with Ate Abi or Moon Glow here on YouTube and Instagram. So go check her video out. Today's journal review concept is how I got into K-pop or specifically how I got into BTS. Judging from this love yourself tear ref refill I'm sticking here, you probably already have an idea. These two Pages are two of the four versions of the LY tier album art, and I believe these are the O and U versions, respectively. I flipped over the page just so I could center the paper before it completely dries, and I cut off the excess and removed the holes. And here they are. I have here four pictures. The first is this OT7 picture from Dispatch, I think, and the rest are screenshots from the music video. I'll explain why I chose these pictures in a while. I apologize for the slight glare from the sun, but you just gotta deal with it. I pasted each picture at an angle, and the theme I was going for here was kind of like a chalkboard one or something because it's dark. I got my grid washi tape and I tore off two strips and cut those two strips in half and placed each half strip on each picture. I'm drawing on some random lines around the corners just to make it look less neat and clean because that's like the vibe I'm going for. Next is the title. To be honest, I didn't think this through so you can see me thinking and hesitating and just going for it. Lamao. There's no turning back now. It does fit the overall vibe of my spread so all is good. I'm trying to make it look like those edgy writing you see on the streets or something. I don't know. I think you get what I mean, you know. Like... You can judge it or whatever, but that's how I made it. I realized after that I should have put BTS first before K-pop because I always consider myself an army and not a K-pop stan until lately. But yeah, I wrote here collab with at Moonglow. Don't forget to check out her side of the collab on Instagram and YouTube as well. Now I'm writing fake love to emphasize what this spread is about. 
Okay, so it all started in late May when randomly YouTube recommended the fake love music video. Which was weird because I don't watch anything K-pop or Korean related I think at that time. So at first, I ignored it until it just kept popping up. I was really curious now so I watched the MV and that's how it started. I'm drawing some smileys and hashtags to complete the chalkboard look and you'll see I'll fill the spaces with marvelies later. So anyways, I watched the MV and not gonna lie, it was really catchy. And I especially love Namjoon's second verse of rap with the why you sad part. It's this picture right here. After watching the MV, I found myself watching the suggested videos, which were some reaction videos and dance practices. I watched the fake love dance practice and I love reading comments while watching, so I did just that. I kept on reading comments about the members and of course, as the ignorant person I was at that time, I wondered how they knew who was who when the video didn't show their faces properly. I even watched it in 1080p but still couldn't distinguish their faces. At that time, I was already falling through the rabbit hole. I watched some unhelpful guides and boom, I was a goner. I wrote here, life is ecstasy because this picture right here is one of Yungi. But yeah, that line is from August D, the cover art. So if you didn't already know. I became an army until 1, 2018. And I even remember that I downloaded Superstar BTS on June 10, 2018. I really miss that game. Anyways, it's really funny how people and like my friends found out I was an ARMY because I would probably be the last person you'd expect. But BTS just has that effect, you know? I didn't plan on telling anyone to be honest, but well, Facebook exposed me. I liked the official Facebook page of BTS and it showed up as a post on the timeline and people were shocked to say the least. Some of my friends messaged me and well, the cat was out of the bag. In school, there aren't many armies around my age so in my class so it's kind of hard because I wanted to talk about them to someone but yeah, I made a fan account but it later got locked so after a short while I started exposing myself further in my personal Twitter account until my personal and stan accounts merged. I have 62.6k tweets on that account which originally had about 3,000 only but I moved accounts when I graduated high school last May but now it's again a stan account slash personal account lamau. I'm not as loud as before so I hope my friends haven't muted me yet. I also stand TXT and N flying now and casually listen to other songs when I find them catchy enough. I'm now putting the final touches and I wrote some words. I wrote fake love and love myself here just because I thought it was kind of empty on this spot. So here is the finished spread. Oops. There's, I, there's still some space there so I just put random lines and drawings again. So here is the finish spread and let me just show you them under the sunlight here because that's kind of rare in my room. It only happens nowadays. So yeah. Here's the first half and here's the other half. I really like how this turned out. It's so full and nice. So I hope you enjoyed my little story time as much as I did because recalling was really fun. Oh, and I blurred out that page because that's for a spread I'm gonna post next week. Lama spoiler, that's my next video as well. So again, here's the finished spread. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today. See you next week. I'm gonna be posting regularly again. Bye!